I don't know. Our planet is, uh, even though we saved it, but uh, we have to stop abusing it, you know. I mean, all the people, not, not just us, but we human, the human has to stop abusing it. Because uh, the ocean are the one that give us also at least 50% of the oxygen, yes? Uh, because of the plankton, yeah, that uh, produce oxygen in the ocean, and then it's uh, affecting us as well, 50% of it at least. But then uh, now, because we disturb the ecosystem in the ocean, with so many fish gone and almost gone, and so the, the cycle of uh, ecosystem in the ocean is greatly disturbed. So there's therefore many dead zones and many uh, coral dead areas, and the fish are supposed to be there to regulate the population of the, the, the sea, is almost not there anymore, and the one is not supposed to be there are uh, overpopulation now, and it might endanger more than just uh, dead zone. It will also affect us in many, in many terrible ways. I don't know what all the governments are doing, if they really know what endangers our planet, what endangers our life. They should inform all the people and put a stop to it. But I don't know, the government seems to react very slow or too conservatively. It's, it's a very uh, terrible situation. And I don't know how long this oil and stuff will last for us to fuel our cars. And even the biofuel, like uh, you making a, a sugarcane plantation to use as biofuel, is also affect uh, the agriculture for food in some ways. And how long can we even plant sugar canes? And how much sugar cane can we plant in the future to supply all this? And while I'm telling you to turn off all the standby wherever not necessary, you think I'm just, uh, how you say, trying to save my money. It's not like that. Not even your money. It's not like that. Because our electricity here in this city, in this country, also came from nuclear power. And that is also not a very safe way to live with. Understand? You see uh, Fukushima in Japan, for example, yeah? Or Chernobyl, yes, etc. Because uh, any nuclear plant will get old in time, yeah? And sometimes things happen. The wall crack or... And then uh, some toxin will leak out into the river, into the land. And then we all have to share these consequences, understand? And sometimes if some people are brave enough to go in there to show their point, to, to, to call attention to the government to do something or to shut it, and when it's too old or something, they might get jailed and get treat, treated harshly, for example, understand me? But uh, even if it's not happening yet, but it could have happened any time. So therefore, it's not like, okay, we have a lot of money, we could use electricity as much as we want because we pay for it. It's not that, okay? Whatever you use, uh, consider the world resource, not, not your money, yeah? Everything we are using belongs to the whole world, even if you pay for it. You really have to consider that everything we use belongs to the whole world, the world resource, yes? Even the clothes we wear, the cotton, the seeds. So it's not that I'm telling you to be ascetic or anything, but you should consider always all the effort that has been put into whatever we use and all the resources that must be utilize in order to give us comfortable life, yeah? So the less uh, we spend on the world resource, the better, no matter how much money you have. Money you have, I know that. But you have to consider the world 
property. Okay, use the less possible.